Disclaimer, all these assumptions are for comedic effect. If something I've said doesn't apply to you, that's perfectly okay. Galahorn, you're 99% of the Destiny player base. Trinity Ghoul, you used to spend your entire Destiny playtime farming kills with this thing in Shattered Throne. What a shame it got nerfed. Risk Runner, you're pretty new to the game and this is your first exotic weapon. You use it alongside another primary because who needs DPS am I right? Arbalest, you hate when LFG teammates don't have champion mods so you run Arbalest in a primary to cover all champion types. That or you're too lazy to check what elemental shields are in the nightfall that week. Ariana's Vow, you like Arbalest but want to be quirky by using Ariana's instead, it doesn't often work out for you. Le Monarch, you practically live in the GM playlist and probably have soloed one before. Prometheus Lens, your most played game mode is Momentum Control. Jade Rabbit, your most played game mode is also Momentum Control. Divinity, you either somehow like being the one on Divinity or it feels like you need to justify your suffering in garden getting this thing in the first place. Your teammates also love you. Traveler's Chosen, you just love spamming your abilities. That or you farm out grenade bounties constantly and are already level 1000 in the season pass. Warcliffe Coil, you wish Fire of Stars was still a thing so you could justify using your weapon which is inferior to Galahorn in every conceivable way. Ace of Spades, you somehow understood all that airborne effectiveness techno babble in that one twob, and are very disappointed the best hand cannon in the game isn't getting better. Anarchy, you heard about the quote unquote buffs and are using it because it's currently really broken. Borealis, you wish Anti-Barrier Sniper comes back so your favourite exotic can actually be viable again for a short period of time before being sent right back into obscurity. Eyes of Tomorrow, you main Gambit. N never trust a Gambit main. 1k Voices, you spent far too long farming this thing back in Season of the Lost so just want an excuse to keep using it. Dead Messenger, you see this as a superior wave GL in every possible way and won't use any other GL unless absolutely forced to. Lorenz Driver, you can't seem to understand why everyone in your Crucible games seems to despise you. Chaperone, you also don't seem to understand why everyone in your Crucible games despises you, but unlike your Lorenz Driver users, you actually have some skill. Ruinous Effigy, you hated the nerfs back when Beyond Light dropped, but see volatile rounds as an absolute win. Lord of Wolves, you've watched a few YouTube videos that say this weapon is good, then got addicted to it yourself. Izanagi's Burden, you're that one player on the fire team that always puts out more DPS than all your teammates combined. You won't settle for a loadout anything less than optimal and probably already have bounty store for the next DLC. Osteostrigo, you bought the deluxe edition of Witch Queen and love to show it off for everyone. Who's gonna tell them it's going to be free at some point? Xenophage, you were probably very disappointed with the tweaks back in Beyond Light, but were overjoyed when they said they'd revert the change this season. Malfeasance, you main lucky pants on your hunter and won't stop telling everyone on your fire team about how this is the new meta. Last word, you also main lucky pants on your hunter and also won't stop telling everyone on your fire team how this is the new meta. Spoiler alert, it's never the new meta. Hard Light, you can't be bothered to deal with elemental shields so you use this instead. Tiku's Divination, you really wish there were more than two solo bows in the game. Never mind, there's a new Vanguard one. Graviton Lance, you really wish there was of any void pulse in the game worth using. Telesto, do I even need to say anything for this one? Dead Man's Tail, you definitely farmed out of Vorpal weapon roll so you could use this in Nightfalls. Wave Splitter, you heard about all the changes to this exotic this season and decided to check them out. Leviathan's Breath, you heard about the changes to this exotic this season and decided to check them out too, except this time the changes actually made the gun really good. Vex Mythoclast, you put in a cheat code to get this to drop, don't lie. Sunshot, you love explosions, like really love them, you, you probably also main Sunbreaker Titan too. Aga's Scepter, your favourite subclass is Stasis and you never switch off. Salvation's Grip, you either love exploring out of bounds or decided to beat the game without jumping. Can't imagine who on earth would do that, that sounds like an awful idea. Rat King, you saw a couple Rat King versus videos on YouTube and now use only this weapon for boss damage. Hawkmoon, this was your favourite gun in Destiny 1 so naturally you can't take it off in D2. Two-Tailed Fox, <laughs> I have no idea why anyone would use this exotic, I'm sorry. Thorn, you made necrotic grips on your warlock, I couldn't think of anything else. Luminaire, you actually enjoy playing a healer class and wish warlocks played more of a support role. You likely main well, which your teammates love you for. Truth, you just don't feel like aiming. Your DPS takes a hit, but at least you can barely play the game. Which, as I'm sure we're all aware, is the end goal of every Destiny 2 player. Legend of Acrius, Leviathan was your favourite raid in Destiny 2, so you use this to pay your respects. Vigilance Wing, you use this occasionally in PvP, but never actually touch it in PvE. Cirrus Regime, you wish 600 RPM auto rifles become good again in PvP. 
Season of Rivals was an interesting time to start playing the game, I'll tell you that much. Thunderlord, you love machine guns and wonder why people don't use them more often. They got a 40% buff, just saying. Skyburner's Oath, you've either been forced at gunpoint to use this weapon or you really hate Cabal Phalanxes, or just Cabal in general for that matter. Prospector, you love to mess with your raid teammates by putting a flag miles into the air. Polaris Lance, you go through constant cycles of forgetting this exotic exists, then remembering it was cool and using it for a few games before throwing it into the vault again. Jotun, you're extremely pretentious about how the name of this exotic is pronounced. On an unrelated note, I pronounce it completely correctly. Coldheart, you kept pushing for this gun to be made a stasis weapon until Aga's Scepter came out. You then proceeded to switch your favourite exotic to that and never look back. Colony, you're probably a hacker. Worldline Zero, you're a retired speedrunner who disapproves of the modern ways of Eager Edge. Mida Multitool, you played vanilla D2 and were really good with this weapon. Taraba, you really don't want people to pick up on how good this exotic actually is these days for fear of it getting nerfed. Fourth Horseman, you wish all shotguns were like this and won't settle for a normal pellet shotgun. Tractor Cannon, you play top tree arc strider or middle tree sunbreaker with a one-two punch shotgun and a cracked elemental well setup. Sleeper Simulant, you're too lazy to farm a decent legendary linear so you use this instead. Sweet Business, you're a titan main, Th that's all that can be said. Deathbringer, since it got its catalyst, you've been slowly and painfully calculating the optimal height to shoot the rocket so that all shots land where you intend. Personally, I used it once, hated it, and never touched it again. Cerberus plus one, you saw this was the least used exotic in the game and sought to single-handedly change that. K yeah, k keep going at that. I'm sure people will eventually start to realise how good it is. Right? Wishender, you choose to justify your use of this exotic by claiming it has wall hacks. Too bad you're playing PvE. Crimson, you like hand cannons, but you also like pulse rifles. Yeah, you can tell I couldn't come up with a better one for that one. Monte Carlo, you love melee abilities. That or you're grinding out stasis quests for the Beyond Light campaign on another character. Symmetry, you use this in Garden to kill the shielded adds one time and it just kind of stuck. Forerunner, your favourite game is Halo. In fact, you're probably playing it right now. Stop cheating on us Destiny mains and get back here to grind. Huckleberry, you love the way this weapon reloads and generally see it as a superior SMG to all the legendaries in the game. I mean, you're not wrong. Cryostesia, you have a very intricate build that consists of stacking as many buffs as possible and then tighten shoulder charge as many high health enemies as possible. Bastion, you really like that one encounter in Deepstone Crypt. I'd be lying if I didn't say I got this exotic for that encounter alone. No time to explain. Unfortunately, there's no time to explain this one. <laughs> Sorry. You either play the entirety of D1 or have a whole firing squad of Ark and Void Souls ready to obliterate anything on your path. Now you just need a Solar Buddy and your collection will be complete. Too bad there wasn't one in Solar 3.0. Whisper of the Worm. The Whisper mission was your favourite mission back in the day and you used this weapon to honour it. Darcy, you're either a PvP YouTuber and are trying to calculate exact distances where damage falloff occurs or were too incompetent to get Whisper all that time ago. Outbreak Perfected. You always have this on your character to swap to if you run out of ammo in a DPS phase. Uh, honestly respectable. Someone evidently played Caretaker day one. Sturm, you use Drang as your energy weapon. Duality, you can't decide whether you prefer the slug or pellet shotguns, so you go with both. Also, it's a bit of a coincidence that this happens to be the name of the current dungeon. Merciless, you missed that fusions haven't been in the meta in two seasons, but still use this for DPS on Atheon. Queenbreaker, you use this gun because it sounds cool, not because it's good in any way, shape, or form. Edge of intent slash action slash concurrence. You're a fellow glaive enjoyer and have been happy with the melee buff this season. Bad Juju, you really, really like supers. Devil's Ruin, you're a bit of a sidearm enjoyer and probably use Peace Bond just as much, if not more. Heir Apparent, somehow Guardian Games is your favourite event in Destiny, and you are totally okay with Class Wharf, I can't say that. Corrective Obligation, you got this gun first try and only use it to shove it in the faces of everyone you come across. Cloud Strike, you found this out because you were too lazy to learn double slug strats for Tanix and Deepstone Crypt, and spent far too long grinding to take it off. Black Talon, you seem to think this is better than Falling Guillotine, failing to realise that this thing's ammo economy is absolutely horrendous. Fighting Lion, you insist on using the off-meta picks for all aspects of the game, much to the disappointment of your teammates. Parasite, you're the most likely out of all of us to start a nuclear war. You probably also main Thundercrash Titan. Lament, you want swords to be in the meta again with every fibre of your being, but they just keep getting overshadowed by practically everything else in the entire game. The only activity where your pick actually matters is when soloing dungeons. With a Horde, you main the most versatile exotic in the game, and I agree with your choice entirely. 
Let me know your favourite exotic in the comments below so I can judge you severely with all the ill intent of a professional Destiny 2 YouTuber. That's been it from me, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.